Evaluation is an interesting topic, at least I think so. Evaluation is an entire area of study all by itself. There are scholarly journals, there are conferences, all of that just about evaluation. But, and this is one thing that I think is particularly interesting about evaluation, is you can't really talk about evaluation in the abstract. You have to talk about evaluation of something. But that something can be almost anything. And so evaluation is what's called a meta-discipline. And in that, evaluation is like mathematics or like information science, where it's an area of study by itself, but it can also be applied to other areas of study a meta-discipline. Now, the thing about evaluation is that it has the word value right there in the middle of the word. And this sets evaluation apart from research, and not just because they're spelled differently, but research, basic research anyway, tries to be as value neutral as possible. Now, that's a very positivist approach to thinking about research and several decades of post-positivism. You know, read your Karl Popper, read your Thomas Kuhn, read about the whole idea of the social construction of science. Anyway, several decades of that line of thinking has shown pretty definitively, I think, that research is in fact not value neutral. But there is a value, ha ha, to thinking about basic research, to approaching basic research anyway, as if it is value neutral. But that's a whole other conversation. The point is, evaluation is not value neutral and it is not intended to be. Evaluation is deliberately value laden. It is evaluation after all. So the question is, the question is what values are being brought to the table? And I would argue when we're talking about metadata, there are two things that are being valued. And the first is usefulness. Is the metadata, are the metadata records useful? Do they fulfill the function for which they were created? And the function for which they were created, of course, is the second thing that's valued, which is access. Is the metadata useful for providing access to materials, to objects, to resources? Does the metadata provide access points? Does it help people to get things? And just to go on a brief tangent, I would like to point out that that is actually a very modern approach to dealing with information resources. And that approach really came out of the modern library movement, as it's called. And it's not really so modern, actually, because it dates back to the late 1800s, but it's more modern than the library, the ancient library at Alexandria, for example, or when this library was built which was at a time prior to the invention of the printing press when books were such a scarce commodity that it was thought that they had to be chained to the shelves so that they wouldn't walk away, I suppose. So the idea of what's called open stacks, the idea that you should be able to check books out of the library and take them out of the building, comes out of the modern library movement. And I would argue, I don't think it's going too far to say that the web and search engines are the descendants of that attitude about information resources, that access to information should be open. And not only that, but we should make it as easy as possible for people to get access. And that means creating tools and creating services to help people to help people get access. And that, of course, leads to the evolution of the entire profession of librarianship, which is, after all, a service profession, 
That means the development of search engines and other information resource discovery tools. That means metadata. And it means systems to use that metadata to help you get access to the resources that that metadata points to. And thus endeth my rant about evaluation and modern librarianship. So my point with all of that, though, was if usefulness and access are what's valued when talking about metadata, when evaluating metadata, then we're right back to Ferber and their four user tasks. So how to evaluate metadata? One, does it help with resource discovery? And the answer to that lies in how rich the metadata record is and the terminology that's used in constructing the record. Two, does the metadata help you get access to the original resource or some transformation of that resource? So is there a URI or other unique identifier uh, that's provided that provides a pointer to the resource or some transformation of it? And then the big picture question is, does the metadata help you fulfill your information need? which is, of course, less about the metadata and more about you and your particular situation or context. So how do we evaluate metadata? And the answer, of course, and I'm sure you saw this coming, the answer is it depends. It depends on what the goal is. But any information scientist will tell you that ultimately it's about the user. It's about people and it's about their use of information objects, and it's about the technology that people use to interact with information objects. So ultimately, there's a range of ways to evaluate metadata, and you should choose the evaluation criteria that works for you, given the type of resources that your metadata is describing, given the users that you're serving, and given those users' particular use cases.